Welcome collective. So I have a channel message. I feel like someone could be praying on your downfall. Like someone who um, you know, someone who you could be close to, could be someone that you live by, someone who you're friends with, someone who you could be in a relationship with. Someone could be praying on your downfall, like waiting for something to mess up, waiting for you to slip up. I'm, I'm getting that. So we are going to go in with the millennial oracle here and we're going to get a channel message from spirit all right so let me burn up this sage <laughs> get some sage going And let's go ahead and get this message popping, okay? So, yes. Some of y'all could be feeling this already. Some of y'all already know who this person is. It could be a group of individuals. Um, some of y'all may not know. You just feel it. This could be an ex. Someone is like waiting on a downfall, waiting for you to slip. Okay, so let's get a channel message out. Let's see. Okay. See, we got yes, 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 yes. Okay, see, this is someone saying yes, okay? We got benching. Someone is rooting for you to be benched, okay? Someone is rooting for you to get put on hold or someone does not believe in you. They don't believe in your point of view. This person's energy is shaking my head. Like, this person is giving off real, like, shaking my head here. Shaking my head, no words can do justice, disappointment, or stupid move. Okay, so I told you, somebody is definitely, somebody is waiting on their downfall. They waiting on, they are waiting on this downfall. They're hoping that you get benched, that you get put on the sideline. Someone could want to take your place. Okay, someone could also be mimicking you, copying you. May not be seeing it, but they are mimicking you, watching you. Let's see what's going on. Tell me more about this person. Why is this person so damn jealous? Matter of fact, we're going to use the, um, we're going to go in with the Kipper. Reveal this person's intentions. Okay, it could be about a man here or a woman, okay? When I flip that deck over, that came, that popped right out. Okay, so it could be in regards to somebody trying to take your spot. Somebody could be jealous. Like I said, it could be someone's ex. Um, they're waiting on it. They're waiting on the downfall. This person is real childish. Okay, this person is very childish. This is someone who... Um, like I said, it could be an ex. They're jealous because you had some type of gift ever since. This is something that you can't even help, okay? This is something that you can't even help. You had this gift since you were a child, okay? And you put the work in. You did everything that you need to do. So that's why you're on top. That's why 
is uh, this is something that a per something that you are supposed to be doing, and you got somebody hating on you, okay? We got mature man here. And we got courthouse. And we got courtship. So for some of you, this could be like a baby mother or a baby father. A child could be involved. Okay, you and this person could be getting ready to go to court about this child. It could be in regards to child support. And then we got mature woman. So we got mature man and mature woman over here. Somebody is worried that somebody's taking somebody else's side. I see a mature woman and a mature, mature man and a child in this situation. Some of you are getting ready to go to court about a child, about child support, joint custody. Okay, we got sudden wealth and wealthy man. Okay, so... Yeah, see, somebody's concern is we got message of concern and unexpected income. Okay, so something here about it's it's a few people involved. For some of you, I feel like this could be an ex, a baby father or a baby mother, someone that you could have had a child with. For some, this is somebody who does not like you because you have this gift, something that was given to you um, from God. You can't help that you're good at this, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Some of y'all have been going through this for a while. Yeah, I told you, thief. This person is trying to steal your energy. They've been trying to steal your energy. They've been trying to steal your energy, okay? I feel like this person could be childish, immature, um, and they don't have too much of a life. If they're trying to hold somebody back or stop somebody from something that they were meant to do, they should be taking the time to find out what it is that they should be doing in life. Okay? See, yeah, you have stability. You have made your life comfortable. I feel like this has been an ongoing thing. Um... This is something that you possibly had to heal from. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is something that had to do with someone from your past. I feel like you've healed from the situation or some of y'all are healing from this situation. Right now, your focus is on being comfortable, your stability. A lot of you are growing and expanding. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like this person, maybe some of you ended this uh, situation. Yeah, we got coffee here. Some of y'all ended this situation with this person a while ago. Somebody, um, somebody pretended to be your soulmate till you found out the truth about this connection. That this connection could have been karmic. All right. Yep, there's a lot of talking, um, gossiping going on. I feel like you aren't in communication with this person either. You aren't in communication with this person. So this is someone that I feel like a lot of you already are aware that this person may not like you. Um, you and this person have already had issues. Let's see what this person is in their feelings about. Like, this person is real deal in their feelings. Why is this person in their feelings? With my collection, what's going on? Yeah, we got Divine Feminine, which could be you. 
Um, get up, it has to do with the family. This person still wants to be able to um, have you in the bedroom. They still desire you. Yep, look at this. King, for some of you, this is a male. This is an ex. This person is upset. This person is upset. Okay, this person is upset. Maybe they wanted to be a family. They wanted to grow old with you. Um, and their time is up. They feel like um, they're feeling guilty. Okay, they let their ego get in the way. They let their ego get in the way and they're feeling guilty about something here. Okay, and you're at you're content. This person is still attached to you. This person is still has some type of attachment to you. Um, this person could be feeling lonely. Um, they see you out here being energetic and happy, but this person is gossiping about you. This person is gossiping. For some of you, this could even be like a family member who's gossiping about you. Um, gossiping about your situation, something that you're going through. Fight, yeah. See, this person want to fight. This person is combat ready. You could be on your spiritual journey, um, and your your focus is being victorious. I feel like you're very relaxed and calm, um, and this person this pisses this person off. Like, how are you so calm? How are you so at ease? I'm I'm pissed off right now. I want to fight. Wow. I feel like this person wants a family life with you, a family unit with you. Um, and they are pissed. They're pissed because that isn't manifested for them. Or it did manifest and that time is up. Yeah, see, the relationship was toxic. Okay. It was toxic. From the jump. For some of you, this is a... A Capricorn or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This this commitment was uh, toxic from the beginning. You made the decision to walk away. I feel like you tried to work on this. You tried to work on this with this person. But you kept feeling like, you know, there needs to be some changes. You need to make some. There needs to be something. This person needs to give more or show you something different. Yeah, see, this person is upset because people are taking your side. They feel like everybody is taking your side. They're really surprised by this. Um, but they're going to have to end up coming to this realization. They're going to have to end up waking up because I feel like you are standing up to this person. This person is pissed off because you're standing up to them. Okay? They don't have control of the situation and they don't have anything to offer knight of cups and the five of pentacles so they're feeling threatened but they're feeling also like oh collective they need to grow up like this person got a real real issue real deal issue with you now this person with the justice card here could be a libra this person could be wanting to let me see why is justice here King of Wands. This person could be definitely be a fire sign. Ten of Pentacles. I'm hearing child support. Okay. Yeah. This person feels like you lied on them. You have secrets. They feel like they know things about you from your past. And they're telling people not to fall for it. Um, they're trying to make it seem like you're better. They're trying to make it seem like you're better. This person definitely wanted to wanted this connection with you. That is their challenge. How to get over you two not being together anymore. Okay, they wanted this um, connection with you. 
They still have hope. Um, still have hope. They're still hanging on to hope. Um, not with this attitude for the Ten of Cups. They're still having, hanging on to hope for this connection. But see, the thing about it is, is there was a tower moment in the past. Okay, spirit then came in. Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so yeah, this person, this person is stressed out. This person is stressed out. We got the strength card here. It could be a Leo. They could be spying. Spying on you. They are spying on you. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are spying on you. I told you, Seven of Pentacles and a Nine of Pentacles. So they're wondering, how do you attain the things that you attain? Um, they are ready to start an argument with you. They're tired of, um, of you... Uh, shooting past them and earning more money. Maybe you just got a new car. They are heartbroken about this. Um, they tried to love thing with you, but for them, they it, it didn't go in their favor. See, I'm getting like for some of you, this is a baby mother, baby father thing for sure because I got the empress here, and I think I saw the emperor too. But the situation was too toxic for for you and this person to be together. This person is gossiping about you. And you're just sitting over here. You're Queen of Pentacles energy. Like, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Knight of Swords could be a child. Okay. Um, you're tired of this person coming at you like this. I feel like you have earned your key. So you're not focused on. I feel like you're moved, you've moved on. You decided to move on from this situation. Like this situation is a burden to you. This person wants to keep this on going. This person could have two other baby mamas who they always get into it with. They feel like um, they're being held back. But this is their awakening. Yep. They realize that you are gone, but sometimes you return back to this person. Um, but they have come to the realization that it's not going to work. They need to understand that, that this is not going to work. A relationship and the love thing and a serious relationship, that's not going to work. They have made, they manifested this tumultuous uh Three of Swords and the Five of, and the five of Wands. Like, they've made this situation a train wreck, okay? There's a lot of confusion going on. And I feel like... This person could change their number because they are upset. They feel alone. They regret it because they feel like they're alone. Um, all this person do is go to work and go home. And they just feel like... Uh, um, they don't feel good about this situation. Okay, now the fool and the emperor here. The first baby daddy, I'm getting baby daddy, baby mother situation. Um, I'm getting like this to be like a child support situation. This person is trying to get you to change your mind. Okay, this person is trying to get you to change your mind. This person, the thing about it is this person don't have nothing too much to offer at this time. They don't. They don't bring anything to the table. They don't have. They're not bringing any value, um, in your eyes to the table. All right. So that's the message that I got. Y'all, let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm gonna chat with y'all later.